In this video, I'm going to teach you a powerful concept that is going to make your hitch routes and curl routes a thousand times better in Madden 22. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the channel. If you're new, we do videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I'm really excited to talk today with you about curl routes and hitch routes and how the grid system of Madden works to kind of put these routes in um, interesting positions, predicaments. And I haven't taught much about this this year because I haven't honestly done a ton of offensive concepts because it's been such a defensive thing this year. But I wanted to take a moment and talk about this because um, I think it's really important because you might need these routes. These routes are routes that force your opponent to have to come underneath and deal with some of the things and some of the concepts that you're running. So um, this is out of the D Detroit playbook. You could do this out of any playbook, any formation. The rules apply the same. Trips tight end is just my favorite offense in the game. If you want to learn my full trips tight end ebook, there's a link in the description that'll take you over to my Patreon. That's where you can get all of my stuff. I have over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks every single week. We put out uh, updates uh, to those in the Patreon, kind of helping expanding on concepts and things like that. So if you want to get the membership, there's a link in the description and you can sign up for just 10 bucks. Okay. So I'll do this out of PA counter go you can do this out of anything you want to. Um, it doesn't matter. But what I want to show you is this. So um, the vertical hook zone is most people don't know this. So the vertical hook zone is on a grid, just like the curl flat zone is on a grid. So I'm just going to illustrate it like this. So I'm going to run a curl route to Mike Evans and a flat route to Scotty Miller. And what you'll see is the vertical hook. Uh, will look like he's going to cover it and then he'll drift to the inside. Now, obviously, the, the, the cloud did cover it, but you see what I'm saying? So he'll drift to the inside. And the reason why, and I talked about this a little bit at the end of Madden 21, the reason why he drifts inside is because the game is coded that anything from the hash marks, I'm going to use Bethel to illustrate, anything from the hash marks to the numbers is what the vert hook is going to cover. Okay, that's why they're so good against wheels because wheels typically run up into the numbers. So what you'll see is if I, let's say that I uh, hard flat this outside defender, you'll see that now the vert hook again, looks like he's gonna cover it and then he drifts inside because his grid is saying, there's no one in my area of the field. But if you look at the snap, the, the slot starts in his area of the field. This is why if I put the slot on a hitch or a curl and they're in cover two, that vertical hook will play the hitch because again, that there's no, the, see the grid right there, see him sit on the hitch because he's inside the numbers, okay? So you can take this concept and then last thing I wanna piece on this is the curl flat. So the, uh, let me see if I can do this from, I don't know if I can do this from cover two, but I'll just do it like this. So let's go with a curl flat to the slot and a vertical hook to the linebacker. So you see it looks kind of like this. Now the curl flat is supposed to play curl two flat, right? So in this example, it should play the curl pretty well. You see how it sits on the curl and I can throw it and it's Madden 22 so you can catch anything, but um, it's not like a wide open thing, right? Um, and so that's what curl flats do. So curl flats are going to play curl routes that are outside of the numbers. Cloud flats don't do that necessarily. They play essentially flats, right? Cloud, flat, cloud of the flat, okay? Um, so to illustrate it now, what we can, so what we, what we can do off of this is let's say that they're running a lot of curl, um, of curl flat and vertical hook zones. Then we can run a combo that essentially looks like this because we know that that curl flat is going to get sucked in because it's playing the curl and the flat is now wide open. So what they have to do is play cloud flat and vert hook on that side. So it's going to look more, um, it's going to look more like a Tampa two. So you've got a vertical hook and you've got a cloud flat. Same thing over here, vertical hook, cloud flat. Now I want to show you why this matters. Because with our uh, trips, what we can do is we can put the hitch um, on Miller and we can motion him to the right. 
and then we can put the tight end on a flat and what will happen is the zone the vertical hook if we snap it just outside the numbers the vertical hook won't defend it he'll look like he's going to guard it and then watch him drift back inside and now that read becomes super super helpful for your offense because the next thing that i want to show you with this is we can shade down we can shade our defense down and what you'll see is that the hard flat is going to get sucked out by the flat zone or the flat route so you see he's covering the flat and then i can throw miller obviously i snapped it just a smidge too late um and i'll show you again it's very technical but if you think about it the flat route is going to pull the flat zone um out is basically the concept and then we'll talk about curl flats in just a second <laughs> Um, but anyways, here, snap it kind of right at the numbers. So you just, just outside the numbers, see how much that flat pulls out. And now they have a vert hook and a hard flat and they can't stop this concept. That's a big deal. Okay. That's a huge deal. So now what I wanted to do is talk about a curl flat, like just a basic level, um, just a basic level curl flat in that situation. So let's say they put Davis into a curl flat and then they put Jackson, um, let's just put Jackson in a third, so it's a cover three, basically. Um, and then we'll put this guy in a hook curl, it's not gonna matter. Hook curls and three wrecks, they play much more inside, so you don't really have to worry about them when you're talking about these concepts. Anyway, so here's your curl flat zone. If you watch the curl flat zone, they're designed to play these curls, so they're gonna go to the flat and then watch, they're gonna come back inside. Do you see that right there? They went out and then they came back inside. Now a seam flat or a quarter flat, so I've got cover four up real quick. They're wired way different than curl flats. They're not really messing with curls. They're just going to the flat. So you see here, they don't they don't do anything. They just go straight to the flat, just like a just like a hard flat would. Okay? Really, really important. And, and here's why. Because they're gonna have to do a very specific thing to stop this, and it's gonna leave them vulnerable to stuff that we can do on the opposite side. And that's what makes trips tight end, in my opinion really 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 good so here's a seam flat real quick um against two by two they kind of act a little wonky but what you'll generally see is he should just go to the flat by that flat route and you see that that's open so what do they do how do they stop this how do they play really well well what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to play a curl flat zone the problem is if you play a curl flat zone it gets sucked inside which we're going to show you from the five yard uh 25 five and five the mabel concept and again you can do this out of any play it does not matter what play it is okay so now uh, and, uh, let's talk about the uh the curl flat so um here is i'm not gonna baseline um you know what let's show you real quick first though let's show you these vert hooks so here's the vertical hooks um at five yards most people think that five yard vertical hooks are going to play differently than shaded down they do play a little differently, but not enough. And you're gonna notice here that he's still gonna suck inside, watch. He's still on a grid, even though he's on a five yard drop, he's still on the vert hook grid of like, I'm gonna get sucked in, sucked in, sucked in. Now the same, however, is true of the purples. Um, so the purples are going to get sucked inside or sucked to the curls in this example. So what you're gonna see is the five yard curl flat is really the best zone to defend this concept so you got the this route motion him over watch this curl flat see how he kind of sits right there now i can throw that but that's not really where i want to throw obviously so that's kind of the basic concept in terms of how the curl flat defender is going to play now this is why my favorite um what they call idiot beater for this defense is if we have a curl flat to Jones and a vert hook to Bethel, very popular to try to stop some of these underneath concepts um, that we can run in this offense. And then they have that backside curl flat. All I need to do with my route is I'm going to hitch Miller curl Godwin and smart routed out route Evans. The reason I'm doing that is that will pull, watch the curl flat get sucked outside. And then now I can high point that route if I wanted to really try to test them. You did see the vert hook go out and play that. Um, I think that's definitely you know important to under, or see. Um, that again, it's all grid based. So it's all about the numbers versus not. And then uh, how do we deal with this, um, this, this route? Well, the way that we deal with the curl flat is through a Y corner 
type of concept. So we're gonna corner route our tight end. If you, you could easily just put him on a out route and smart route it, it's the same idea. And then we're going to table route our running back and we're gonna hitch Godwin. And what you'll see is this triangle concept is really gonna put that curl flat defender in a bind. So again, you're going right outside the numbers, right there, watch the curl flat defender get pulled and look at that little read right there. And that's because we added that third layer to this. Now, let me just show you the same basic principle. Um, if I were to, and again, I'm, I don't have the hard flat, but the hard flat would suck inside and play this um, in a situation where I didn't have the route to the back. So that's where this is very helpful. See right there, see that quarter, see that? See how that just sits right on the hitch? If I have the flat, however, and I'll show you that right here, and it doesn't matter which one you motion over, but if I, as long as I have this little table route or swing, watch the quarter flat now. Watch him suck outside. In this example, he didn't, which is fine. We'll just take this read. But, I mean, he normally will. And you can, you know, I mean, if you want to, you can wheel him. So you could do like, like this kind of thing. And then you'll see here. You know, just hit, just hit one. The quarter flat's kind of being a little weird, to be honest. But that's the basic gist of it. So you can throw a... So so now, the, the, to bring it all home, this is a... Um, so, so to bring it all home, they're going to play a five-yard curl flat that will play everything outside the numbers. So let's say that you're watching this and you're like, you know, I really want to be able to attack them if they're doing that. Well, what we'll do then is we're gonna force them to a uh, vertical hook. So to illustrate this, we're going to use the play, you can use whatever. Smart, put the tight end on a smart routed in, put Miller on a hitch. I like to zig Godwin. Um, and then motion or uh, wheel the running back. And you're gonna snap this hitch right there so he's inside the numbers. And look at the curl flag, get sucked out. And now you can throw your hitch. Your hitch. So that's kind of the chess match that you play. Um, that's kind of the chess match that you play with this offense. And if they're running a lot of curl flats, I think it's important to understand that if they have, let's say they let's say that they just make like really good adjustments and they have a curl flat and a vert hook. To me, those are the best way. The, that's the best way to hang with this concept at its core. Then what we can do uh, from a from a route combination perspective is ah, crap. Let me come back to that here. Um, but then what we can do is we can do a curl on Miller because those curl flats have to be at five yard depth. So now the curl, okay. See how that sits right in that pocket? Because why? Because of the where we snap the ball. Okay. So that is how these curls work. That's also why, like, if you're getting five-yard purples, um, this outside curl, he's still playing the curl. He's just playing it at a five-yard zone drop. So to me, that's really important to understand. So that's why you can go with something like, you know, this read, for example, um, and that's where you want to start to attack, like, right here. Why? Because, again... You know, now, now they have to vert hook. For them to vert hook in purple, to me, is not only a lot of adjustments, but now if you think about it, just on the just on the notion of a vert hook in purple and what that's going to cause, now you can throw anything over the top of that because there's no zone that's going to be able to play that. They're both at five-yard depth, so you just have to attack a little bit deeper down the field. But anyways, that is the hitch concept from Trips why um and kind of a little bit of a tutorial on how these routes work the vertical hook will play curls um from the numbers to the hash but if you um, and then the curl flat will play curls outside of the numbers so if you're smart you want to kind of mix and match that a little bit um and and really i think specialize a little bit more in those um because again what you can do off of the curl um this is the big key here, but what you can do off of the curl is this smart routed in and watch that it sucks that guy in and now the flats open and you can take that for five to 15 yards, sometimes more. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get our trips tied in ebook, there's a link in the description. You can get the whole membership with all of our ebooks for just 10 bucks. 
great deal and i think it will really help you become a better madden player and thanks for watching if you want to get the membership link is in the description so head on down there and check it out